I were to ask you what you thought the environmental impact of this bill is going to be, what would you say? What would your assessment this be now? Is, this is clearly an environmental catastrophe. There is no two ways about it. Uh, and all I would say is that in terms of the estimates, the initial rate was a government estimate. These rates are a government estimate. But you're, you're upping your assessment now to environmental catastrophe? It's clear. I mean, it is clear that we are dealing with a very significant environmental crisis and catastrophe. I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to have been very, very modest. It's impossible to say, and we will mount as part of the aftermath a very detailed environmental assessment as we go forward. We're going to do that with some of the science institutions in the, uh, in the US. But all, everything we can see at the moment suggests that the overall environmental impact of this will be very, very modest. Uh, the reality is that the extent of the cooperation that is taking place between ourselves and all of the federal agencies uh, I think will be seen as a textbook example of how to do an emergency response. But according to the Occupational Safe and, uh, Safety and Health Administration, their statistics show that BP has hit hundreds of safety violations in the past three years at its refineries. OSHA is proposing $87 million in fines against BP. That's a record. And the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Labor for OSHA, Jordan Barab, says that BP has a, quote, systemic safety problem. All I can say is since I've been in this job three, for three years, I have focused remorselessly on safe and reliable operations. We've made significant organizational changes, changes to our processes, changes to people, and changes to our culture. Uh, and of course, you can never do enough. Mm. Uh, we failed to recognize we're an operating company. We had too many people that did not understand what it took to run operations. We had too many shallow generalists people who knew a lot about not very much, but not a lot about specific areas. We had too many people that were working to save the world. We'd sort of lost track of the fact that uh, our primary purpose in life is to create value for our shareholders. How you do that, you need to take care of the world, but our primary purpose in life was not to save the world.